Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding decimals, particularly the word problems. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question one here, what we've got here is Jane that's actually completed a sprint in 29.75 seconds. And we've got Alex took 0 0.3 seconds longer. How long did it take Alex to finish the sprint? So what we're doing is we are actually adding these two numbers together. Now, you don't need to do this by, by hand, but I mean, if you have a calculator, you can do it with the calculator as well. But I'm just going to do it by hand just so that you kind of know how to do that because I know with calculators it's fairly easy. All right, so we've got 501 at the top there. So that's going to make this 10 or a 1 and a 3. So what are we looking for is 30.05 seconds. And of course, you can actually just test it out. So you could go 29.75 plus let's just see if this works plus 0 0.3 nope it's not gonna work today so as you can see 30.05 all right let's go to question two so question two a similar kind of question here but we've got Tom covered 15 Ks in 38.6 minutes so we've got 38.6 and then Sarah finished 0.51 minutes slower okay and how long did it take Sarah to complete the race so we're adding uh, 0 0.15, so 0 0.15 like this. We're gonna add the two numbers together. And if you remember, 38.6 is the same thing as saying 38.60. So we've got zero plus five, which is five. Six plus one is seven. And then we've got eight and 38. So we've actually got 38.75 minutes as the answer for question number two. Again, checking it out on the calculator. So we've got 38.6 plus 0 0.15. Now I didn't put 0 0.15, I mean, I can just put 0.15 in the calculator and that's gonna give me 38.75. So folks, what I would say is maybe you have a go with these three questions um, and then I'll go through the answers. All right, folks, hopefully you've had a chance to actually go through these three questions. Uh, we're gonna continue with question number three. So we've got 50 meters in 22.5 seconds for uh, Emily and then Jake is actually taking 0 0.18 longer than Emily so it's going to be 0 0.18 and what we're going to do is uh, Jake's time so we've got to add these two values up we're gonna get 8 6 point and then 2 plus 0 is 2 so the answer is going to be 22.68 so looking at the calculator we've got 22.5 plus 0 0.18 and that's gonna give us 22.68. Next, looking at question four, Michael ran in 42.8 minutes. And then Rachel finished uh, 0.4 minutes slower. So that means we've gotta add 0.4 minutes to figure out what um, Rachel's uh, time is. So that's gonna be 0 0.4. And then we're gonna add those two numbers together. Um, Look, if you, if you ever get worried about adding decimals, especially if you don't have a calculator, it's just like normal, um, just like adding normal numbers, just have to match up the uh, place value. And what, I think once you match up the place value, you're pretty much good to go. So here we got eight plus four is 12. So we've got two, carry the one, one, two, and zero is equal to two. Don't forget the decimal point there. And then we've just got four as it is. So that doesn't look right. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go, 43.2. It's normal to make mistakes, right? It's absolutely normal, even though I've been doing this for such a long time. All right, so 42.8, let's try that out. So we've got 42.8 plus 0 0.4, and that's 43.2. Question five, we've got Daniel that rode uh, in meters one minute and 45 seconds. Um, this is a I purposely put this question here right so because we've got one minute and 45 seconds now the question actually says you know what was Emma's time for uh, 200 meters right and it's because she took 0.25 seconds more than Daniel now 
you wouldn't write um, one minute 45. Uh, like you wouldn't write like this, one minute 45 and then 0 0.25 seconds. That, that actually doesn't, it's not the right way of actually writing this, right? So, but what, instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite one minute 45 seconds. So one minute 45 seconds could be written as, cause one minute is 60 seconds, 60 plus 45 is 105 seconds. Then if I go 105 plus 0 0.25, then I can actually say my final answer as, because that's just 105, 105.00, so I got zero plus five is five, zero plus two is two, five plus zero is five, and then I've got 105.25 seconds. So the way I'd write this answer is I'd actually put down 105.25 seconds. Because in your calculator, if you actually did 1.45, 1.45 is actually not um, one minute 45 seconds, because remember 45 seconds is like, when you think of seconds, it's actually out of 60. So what you would have to do is you'd almost have to do it like this with a mixed number. You would go one, and then you'd put 45 over 60. So when you do that, you actually get 1.75, that's actually 1.75 minutes, but we're actually adding seconds. So it's just, just be aware of that. And I know it might cause a bit of um, confusion, but if it does, please feel free to, um, write in the comment section, uh, ask the questions in the comment section and I'll try and get to you. So those are just some really quick examples for uh, working with decimals and word problems. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.